We're here with head coach Ken Thickus following CU's 4-3 loss to Northern Arizona in the first round of regionals. Coach, first off, what would you tell your team after the game? Yeah, not much you can say when you lose, when you're not supposed to lose, but we told them, you know, they played hard. That was the big thing. They played right to their end. I feel really bad for the seniors, you know, nine of them that played, and it was their last game, and it just, you know, we outplayed them. I thought, outshot them, did everything right, but put the puck in the net. Talk about the game of the strategy, the final six, seven minutes of the game. Your team looked really winded out there, but you guys still had some opportunities and got some shots off. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. We uh, we had chances to come down and we couldn't hit the net. You know, we just weren't getting the shots on net we wanted to get. And we had the opportunities and we panicked a little bit and just didn't get the job done. Yeah, the team looked maybe was being a bit too fancy out there with the puck, especially down on the NAU end. It seems like they were just throwing in the middle of the slot, hoping somebody would be there. Yeah, they were doing that all night. We wanted them just to shoot, and they were trying to do too much work. You know, a lot of times you want them to be selfish, and they weren't. They were moving the puck around instead of just shooting. Their goalie, I didn't think, was that outstanding. I think we could have scored if we would have got more pucks to the net. But we were missing the net or getting too fancy, like you said. What do you think might have been the biggest reason you lost this game? Was this maybe defensive breakdowns or maybe the focus just wasn't there? A little bit. I think some of the kids were trying to do too much on their own instead of, uh, you know, working the puck. And we did have some defensive breakdowns. Some of that's my fault. I overused my defenseman a little bit earlier on the power plays, and at the end they were a little bit tired. It seemed like it was a theme all season long. Maybe letdowns in the third periods and not being able to take or capitalize on power plays. What can you say about this? Yeah, those? I agree with you. The thing was, all year long, we were fighting from behind late in the game. Uh, you know, I can look back, and there's probably 10 games we lost by a goal because we didn't play hard enough early in the game and didn't put teams away. Let them stick around, and then they come back and get a lucky bounce or get a couple goals. And the next thing you know, we lose the game and go home. You're disappointing season, to say the last, but what are, you, what are some of the positives you're going to take out of this year? Well, some of our freshmen really played well. Kamat's had a great year, led the team in scoring. Uh, some of the some of the defensemen, I think Glickman played well. Uh, and, you know, some kids, Kohler and Biao and Connor Williams played their butts off tonight. They played right till the end. I think they give everything they had, and that's the good thing. It, you know, that's all about life. If they keep working hard, every chance they get all the way to the end, they're going to be fine. Uh, you know, the thing is, they got to move on with life. It's a hockey game. We lost, and we move on. No, maybe for you, any uh, favorites to win nationals this year now that you guys are out? And then this West still pretty strong as CSU, Eastern Washington. Well, Eastern Washington's got a very good shot. Florida Gulf Coast we played's got a good shot. I think they're probably 1-2 in the country right now. CSU, if they can get some goaltending, they've got, they've got a shot at it. And Utah State, you know, with Arsenal and those kids... Wine and McDonald, they got a shot. The West is going to do okay this year, I no, no doubt about it. It was the hardest thing this year was getting out of the West, and we just didn't do it. If you guys did go to Nationals, you would have probably been in the C pool against Florida Gulf Coast and Michigan State. Two tough teams. Did, did that cross your mind at all? No, because we weren't looking that far ahead, but secondly, we wouldn't have played them anyway. Uh, San Jose would have come out as the fourth seed and had to play both those teams. So. You know, we just had to play. We just wanted to get to tomorrow, and it didn't happen. Final question. The senior class, one of the biggest senior classes, so many memorable moments. They've played so hard, and they were so great for all four years here at CU. Final thoughts on them as they now graduate and they were well, on their lives. My final thoughts on some of them, they've really grown up. Connor Williams, when we first got him, didn't understand what team hockey was about. And you know what? By the end of this year, he knew all about it. He was a leader. Andy Neitenbach took charge and said, you know, I, I want to take charge of this team, and he did. Uh, Vial played his buns off. Kohler just was amazing. It just And Ulrich playing hurt came back and uh, it gave us a shot. The seniors certainly went down to the end. We just didn't get any breaks, but that's the way it's been all year. That's not an excuse. That's just... You look back and see how many one goal games we lost. We just didn't know. I guess maybe what it came down to, we weren't mean enough. Our kids are too nice of kids, and they didn't know enough that when you get someone down, you step on them, and step on them one extra time, and they just never learned that. Well, thank you so much, and we'll see you next season. You bet. Thank you much.